Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. You guys, we will be reacting to one goes from teacher to adult actress. So your student cannot be watching. What the fuck? Then what are we turning into? Like what? I get straight into this. I was a high school English teacher at a school in Missouri teaching freshman and sophomore English and it was a dream come true. The downside of teaching was that I was barely making enough to survive. I went to college, I got my master's degree, and then I was working on a third degree, a specialist degree, and my student loan debt was piling up. Then about six months ago, my husband was laid off and things got really difficult for us. In the past, my husband and I had joked about making money on an adult fan page. So in May of this year, we just decided to go for it. We knew that there were risks, but we were honestly just in a tough situation and it was supposed to just stay our secret. By July, we were making around $10,000 a month and I started to get mm. nervous that I was going to be found out. And in mid-September, one day after class, two school administrators knocked on my classroom door and said that we needed to talk. My heart dropped. I knew my secret had been discovered and I knew I had been found out. Now her and her husband, they weren't just taking pictures on OnlyFans, they were doing videos and they even collaborated with another couple that were a lot more famous than them and that's how she got found out. Now apparently she was blurring her face in the video but the husband wasn't. Someone connected the dots, sent it to the school and she got exposed. The St. Clair County School District placed a high school English teacher on leave after discovering her profile hey. on a porn website, OnlyFans. But while she was suspended, it got even worse and she decided to leave because someone got the link of the OnlyFans and they posted it on the school Facebook group, which meant everyone in the school saw it, including the students. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up! This also meant that she made a shit ton of money in a very short amount of time and she is no longer in debt. Her story, it's on the local news, it's on the national news, it makes the front page of Reddit, it's blowing up. Yeah. So more people are going over to check out her account and more people check it out and more people check it out and they keep checking it out and eventually she has tens of thousands of subscribers all who are paying to see her. And she just reported that in that five months since all this blew up, she's made nearly a million dollars. The only excuses that she uses is that she was in debt and when other people say to her well you could have found a more child friendly side hustle considering you're a teacher and you're meant to be a role model. She just says oh well teaching takes too much time there's nothing else I could do. It's just like those connections that I'm going to miss. Bullshit. Missouri is one of the lowest states in the nation for teacher pay and then the district I was working for is also one of the lowest paying districts in the state. The people asking why don't you just get like a part-time job somewhere? But teachers also take all of their work home. Like we don't get to stop working when we leave the school day. We don't get to grade all 130 students' papers during the day. It's just not possible when you're teaching. So we take that work home with us on the evenings, on the weekends. So getting a second job it's just really not possible. Well, you found time to meet up with the other couple and do your business to them. And I'm sure there's plenty of teachers out there that have other side hustles. I've seen other teachers doing things on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram. You don't have to do that. You don't have to sell your dignity. And the funniest excuse that she uses is when she says the handbook policies are vague. As if you're meant to say in the handbook, please don't be a porn star when you're a teacher. Our handbook policies are very vague and they just say something about like represent yourself well. Did I violate that? I feel like that's a matter of opinion. Are you delusional? Do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness? Students were never meant to see this. Um, and I know people are saying, well, you taught high school, they were bound to find it at some point. Um, maybe, maybe not. Now, I don't know what's going in the coffee of these teachers at that school, but believe it or not, there's another teacher who's being exposed from the same school for doing the exact same thing. I beg your pardon? Update, they just found another teacher who had a secret OnlyFans account from that same school. School has no right to tell me what I can and cannot do once I come home at night. A second St. Clair High School teacher pushing adult content online now on leave. I refuse to resign for something that I don't feel like I did wrong. So they're going to have to either let me come back or they're gonna have to find a way to fire me. Are you on another fucking planet? Would you encourage your students to do the same thing? Actually, maybe you would. Who the fuck knows these days? But when I went to school, this type of shit was not encouraged and definitely not something a teacher would be doing. And she's got the same excuse as the last one, basically too lazy to think of another way to make money. 
and the handbook wasn't clear. With two graduate degrees, student loans piled up, totaling about $126,000. I thought about getting a second job, but when I thought about, you know, how busy I am with coaching and with teaching, you know, teaching isn't just 7.30 to 3.30 every day. I know it doesn't look good, but I truly did not want this. And in a heartbeat, I would give it all up. I would give every penny back. My life oh. It wouldn't surprise me if she leaked that shit herself once she found out the other one was making a bunch of money. Her friend and former St. Clair teacher Brianna Coppage gained local and national attention when her OnlyFans account was revealed to the district. Gaither says she immediately deleted her OnlyFans when Coppage was exposed. She thinks she was discovered in mid-October after another woman posted this Halloween picture and tagged Coppage. They blurred my face, um, but I didn't realize that that was going to be posted on Twitter. Um, and so as soon as that picture was posted, almost immediately I started getting, you know, messages and letters from students tacked on my door and whatnot, um, saying that they know my secret and um, that I was caught. See, what annoys me about these two women is how fake they are. They make out that they wish it never came out and if they could turn back the clock that they wouldn't do it again. But they know damn well a bunch of that money is coming from students directly and indirectly because the publicity they're getting from the students is getting them more money and because of the fact they're teachers it creates a little fantasy in the students heads and it makes them want to pay for it and she said she felt so bad she deleted it but she made another one straight away and now she's laughing to the bank i've cried a lot it literally feels like i'm losing a part of myself gaither tells me she doesn't think she'll ever be able to teach again in the district or others in the area well, no fucking shit. When this happened, she did start a new OnlyFans account, this time using her real name. In the two weeks since she's had it, she's made $65,000. Both Gaither and Coppage tell me the employee handbook doesn't have a clear morality clause, but says you should be a good role model in the community. It's the same poor excuses, we don't earn enough, there's no time for side hustles, it wasn't clear in the handbook. This one did the same thing. Yeah, he liked that. Intimate images posted online, sparking a public discussion. The images ended up costing 35-year-old Kristen McDonald her day job as a teaching assistant in the Coquitlam School District. I have a concern. The district sending her a termination letter June 16th. I did expect it. Uh, there was still a part of me that was hopeful. McDonald has been posting adult content to the internet. The single mother says her salary as an EA doesn't cover her expenses, so she turned to only fans as a side hustle. Her employer, School District 43, caught wind of her online presence and demanded she stop and pull the images down. McDonald refused and went public with her predicament, arguing what she does in her private time is none of her employer's business. Regardless of people's opinions and their, you know, the way they feel, uh, the morality of it all, uh, I don't believe I deserve to lose my job. There's no connection between this fictional persona and her job. Man, give me a fucking break. This should not even be a conversation. There's no way an adult entertainer should be in a classroom teaching high school kids. There's only one place they belong. She belongs to the streets. Guys, that was that. I, but like, it doesn't make sense. Like, yes, it's me role models and clearly post that role model on I don't know why they're trying. I don't know why the news is giving them this kind of publicity. No, we are not supposed to, because it does not make sense. Like, just relieve her from her job and she can go do what she wants to do with her life. But I think that there are a lot of hypocrites because people who are comment condemning her are still going to watch her. So it does not make sense. And she's making her money at the end of the day, but dignity isn't there. Like, you know what they say. Good name is better than riches, bro. <laughs> I think we're going to take a lot of these videos. You should like, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. You guys, best.